symmetry. In this lesson, we are going to learn about line symmetry of various figures. Certain figures have line symmetry. For example, here we have some figures. Out of these figures, a few figures have line symmetry. Now, let us see how to find out the line symmetry of a figure. So, how can we say that a particular figure has got line symmetry? If we are able to draw a line which divides the figure into two identical parts, then we can say that the figure has got line symmetry. That means, for example, this first figure. By drawing a line, if we can make the figure into two identical parts, that means both the parts should coincide if it is folded. Say for example, if this figure, we're drawing a line like this. If we fold this figure, if we close, for example, if this figure is drawn on a paper, if we close this figure, both the parts must match exactly. That means they should be identical. Then we can say that this figure has the line symmetry. And the line, the dividing line is called line of symmetry. So here we have come to know that this figure has got line symmetry. Now let us see this. Can we say that this figure has got line symmetry? If I try to draw a line like this, will be the both parts identical? No. So can we say that this figure isn't having any symmetry? Now let us try the line in other direction. If we draw a line in horizontal direction, if we fold this figure down, both the parts match exactly. So this line is called line of symmetry. In the same way here, if we draw a line, we can divide this figure into two identical parts. So this figure also has got line symmetry. Now let us look at this. If we draw a line in any direction, we cannot make the two halves of the figure identical. They are not coinciding with each other. So that means this is a non-symmetrical figure. That means this figure is not having any symmetry. So the line of symmetry, it can be either vertical, horizontal or it can be diagonal. Now. Let us understand the line of symmetry better with these examples. Here we have three figures. Let us see this face. If we draw a vertical line dividing this figure into two parts, both the parts are equally identical. So if we fold, if this is a paper, if we fold, both the parts coincides with each other. They match exactly. So we say that this figure has symmetry. Now this line is called line of symmetry or axis of symmetry. In the same way this butterfly also by drawing a vertical line we can make the figure into two identical parts in which both the parts coincide with each other. And even the third picture here also we find the symmetry and the line which divides the figure into two identical parts is called line of symmetry or axis of symmetry. Here are some other examples. Let us find out which of the figures are symmetric. If we see this pencil, by drawing a vertical line, we can make this figure into two identical parts and this one has got symmetry. And even the second one, the scissors, by drawing a line, we will find the two identical parts. If we fold it to the center, both the sides coincide with each other. Look at this picture. If we draw a line vertical or horizontal or diagonal, this figure, the two parts of this figure are not identical by any of these lines. That means if we fold the figure in any direction, we cannot find the two matching coinciding opposite parts. So there is no symmetry. This is not symmetric, whereas these two figures are symmetric. Let us look at these two alphabets. 
Let us see whether they have symmetry or not. Here the letter A, if we draw a line vertically, that means if we fold this figure vertically at this axis, we will get two identical parts on both sides which are exactly coinciding. So this is a symmetrical shape and this one is the axis of symmetry or line of symmetry of this picture. And what is the other letter B? So here in this case, instead of vertical, if we fold it horizontally, we find two identical parts coinciding with each other. So this is the line of symmetry of letter B. Okay, now let us see some figures with a line of symmetry and find out whether it is correct or not. Let us check out whether this dotted line represents the line of symmetry or not. Look at the first picture. Here this dotted line makes the figure into two identical halves. So here this dotted line makes the line of symmetry. Look at the second one. Even this vertical dotted line makes this figure into two identical parts. If this figure is folded, both the parts match or coincide with each other. So this dotted line is also the line of symmetry of this figure. Here in this case, this dotted line cannot make this figure into two identical halves. See if this is folded here, this part doesn't match with this part. So this figure is not symmetric and this line is not the line of symmetry. And here even this is not the line of symmetry because no way this dotted line making this figure into two equal halves. And again coming back to this fifth figure, here is a triangle. This dotted line is dividing the figure into a small triangle and other part which are not matching. If we fold the triangle down, this top part doesn't match with the bottom. So this is not line of symmetry of this figure, but this figure is symmetric. If a line is drawn this way, this half exactly matches with this half. Both the halves will coincide. So this is a symmetric figure, but this dotted line is not the line of symmetry of this figure. And come to this cylindrical shape. Here is a dotted line which is making the figure two identical parts. If the figure is folded at this axis, both the parts match each other. So this is a symmetric figure. At the same time, this dotted line is the line of symmetry. Now come to this figure. See both the halves are not identical even. So this line is not making the figure two identical parts. So this is not a symmetric figure and even this not a line of symmetry. Multiple lines of symmetry. Till now we have seen some examples in which there is only one line of symmetry. But for certain figures there are more than one line of symmetry. Now let us see this example. Here we have a kite shape. We can make a kite shape using a set square in your compass box. So if we draw a vertical line like this, we can make this kite shape into two identical parts. That means here we find a symmetry, a line symmetry and this is called the line of symmetry of this figure. But is there any possibility to draw another line of symmetry? There is no chance. If we draw a horizontal line, we cannot find the two identical parts here. So here there is no possibility, only one line of symmetry for this figure. But if we look at a rectangle, we can draw a vertical line or we can fold this figure vertically. So by that we find we get two parts which are equally identical which are coinciding with each other. Even if we fold this card horizontally, even then 
we find two identical parts. That means a rectangular shape can have two lines of symmetry. If we look at this square, square will be having an equal length of each of its segments. There are four sides, all the four sides of equal length. So here a square have a chance of having total six lines of segment. If we fold a square vertically in this direction or horizontally or diagonally downward or diagonally upward, we get two identical matching parts. So square is having more than one line of segment. Now let us see this practically with some activity. Take a rectangular sheet like a postcard, fold it once lengthwise so that one half fits exactly over the other half. So we can say this fold is a line of symmetry. Now open it up, again fold along its width in the same way. Now the second fold also forms a line of symmetry. Now take a square piece of paper, fold it into half vertically so that the edges coincide. Open the fold and you will find that the two halves made by the fold are congruent. The fold at the center becomes a line of symmetry for the paper. Try to fold the paper at different angles so that it becomes a line of symmetry. There are four lines of symmetry for a square. Paper cutting using symmetry. You generally decorate your classrooms for certain occasions like Teacher's Day or Independence Day. You use different color papers and you cut different designs on them. So here in cutting a pattern or a special design, we use techniques like symmetry. That means we fold the papers in different angles and we cut to make some special designs. Now let us do an activity to make some paper craft. Take a square paper and fold it at the middle vertically. Draw a design on the fold as shown in the figure and cut off the paper on edges. Then open to see a symmetric design with one line of symmetry. Find the number of lines of symmetry for the following shapes. Here we have some shapes. Now we are going to find how many number of lines of segments are there for these shapes. Let us look at the first shape. Here, by drawing a vertical line, we can make two identical parts. So that means if we fold this figure, both the parts are coinciding. In the same way, a horizontal, a diagonal. So total, it has six lines of symmetry. In all the six directions, in all the six angles, it can show the symmetry. Let us come to the second one. Here only the vertical line of symmetry can make the figure two identical parts. So there is no other way to find the symmetry here. So it has got only one line of symmetry. And come to this one here two squares are attached here. A diagonal line, it can make the figure two identical halves. And even this diagonal cut or this diagonal fold also make the two parts of the figure match exactly. So it has got two lines of symmetry. Draw the possible number of lines of symmetry for the following figures. Here we have three figures. One is equilateral triangle, the second one is isosceles triangle and the third one is scalene triangle. So this is the equilateral triangle. Here by folding this triangle at this vertical axis, both the halves match exactly each other. So even here if we fold this way, so this equilateral triangle 
has got three lines of symmetry. Now let us look at the isosceles triangle. This isosceles triangle has got only one line of symmetry because here only this vertical fold can make this figure two identical parts. There is no other chance. Now let us look at the scalene triangle. There is no possibility of making a line of symmetry here because the scalene triangle is not symmetric.